Hey guys, Andrew from McNasty Customs here. You guys have been asking for it, so we decided to finally do it. That, my friend, is the XP Pro, and we have a file wall guards available for them now. Mounted to the master cylinder with your master cylinder bolts, comes around, goes under your fender flare, around the side of your frame, and bolts onto your frame underneath this fender flare. You trim your fender flare a little tiny bit, and that's it, they tuck underneath. And this, above this guard here, is our master cylinder guard, it says RZR in it. You can buy that separately, it does not come with the guards. You can buy that with having the guards on the machine or with just a stock machine, you can get that in multiple colors. And uh, it'll be an option on the site. So you can see thick aluminum guard, fully mounted to the frame. Same on the passenger side. Tucks underneath your fender flare. Um, the new guard, this is the mock-up set, goes on the original machine. The new guard will be from the very bottom of this bracket. This bracket that you see will be all the way up to the bottom of your sticker and across. Um, this is the set that we mocked up on the machine, so this is the set we put back on. Your guards will come with the larger bracket going all the way up so it has a little more support. And you can see that they disappear in there, and you can't even tell they're in there. Might as well get into the video of installing these things, going through everything. That way you can see exactly what's involved. So, you guys have been asking for a long time for the XP Pro Guards. Here they are. Just remember one thing, ladies. McNasty rules. Okay, guys, now on to the install portion of this video for the firewall guards for the Polaris Pro XP. Very simple what to do here. You're gonna remove your entire fender flare. So you remove all your T30 bolts, and there's a couple of push pins underneath, and you can actually pull it all off, and you gotta pull it up and around the door striker in the back to get this square to remove around this door striker. So that's how you pull it out like that. You remove your entire guard all in one piece. The guard, the mud flap, does separate in this area here, and you don't actually have to take these bolts out. You don't have to separate this. It actually pushes in and pulls out. Take it out all in one piece like this, it's much easier. When you get to that point, you are going to take a half inch socket and a wrench from the back side, and you're gonna remove the two half inch nuts off of your master cylinder bolts so your bolts can move in and out. Very easy. Then this is the driver's side section of the guard, which is gonna come in three pieces. This is your lower, this is your upper, and then you're gonna have this master cylinder bracket. Very simple. So this bracket is slotted so it can move around, and it'll allow this to help us install. So you're gonna take your bolts, two, two supplied bolts, slide them in through the back holes, and put the nuts on, and leave this bracket loose. Just snug them up until they're just starting to catch and back them off a of hair. This way the bolt's not hanging down in the hole. So snug the nut up till it's pretty tight, then back it off a couple of turns and it'll allow you to move it like that. And then obviously you're gonna attach the upper and the lower with the two supplied bolts. Nuts on the back side, very simple, and that's what it will look like. Then once you have this guard set to this position, you are gonna simply install it. So this, on the Pro XP, it is a little bit tighter to get this thing to clip in than the other side is, but this is the, this is the tight spot and you gotta work around it a little bit. So this is all you have to do for the install itself. So now you got your bolts for your master sticking out here with no nuts on them. You take your guard, you kinda just slide it up into place until it hangs on to the front nut. Just sits into place like that. And this is going to be the harder part right here. So you can reach underneath the master and you can hold with one hand, you can hold the back of the bolts, holding them out towards the outside of the machine. So all you're going to do, so you can see I'm moving out with my finger. So then you're going to take this guard and you're going to kind of slide it into place, pushing back with your hand, because now you're on the front bolt, pushing back and wiggling the guard, trying to get it on that rear bolt. Very simple. Now it's on the rear bolt. Now that's why we left these nuts loose, so we can get this straight. So now, that was technically the hottest part. You're gonna see a little notch right here in the bottom of this guard. This is for your skid plate, your factory skid plate, aftermarket skid plate. So your skid plate is gonna go under this section, but above this section, and that's what the square notch is for. So, very easily here, take your hand, reach under, pull your skid plate down, which is very easy to pull down, Take the guard, push it in towards the frame of the machine and up. Now you can see that the skid plate comes through that little section and it sits on top here. Now just holding this with your hand right there against the machine, kind of tap this in towards um, the center of the machine. 
You gotta play with it a little bit back and forth. Uh, a rubber mallet works really well. You can uh, tap on this bracket. So right now this bracket's kind of sitting at an angle. You can tie and tap it into place. And you can see the entire guard is rolling into place. The reason this is so tight is the Pro XP has these aluminum rivets coming through the firewall on the back side and the guard is so tight up against the frame it's hitting the rivets. So you gotta kinda tap it into place to get it where it needs to go. So that's obviously the guard is pretty much in place. This lower uh, tab under here goes right under the frame. So it only it, it just goes under the frame and up tight. That's it. That will align your entire guard. Very simple. This bottom one pushes in and once it's up against the frame it only goes up as high as it goes and then it stops. So that's it. Then with all of our guards, because these are fully frame mounted, this is how to do this. You take a quick clamp. Right here in this section of the frame is a piece of plastic of the inner file, uh, yeah, the firewall here. I take the front section of this clamp. I slide it in between the frame and that piece of plastic right here. Just like that. And on this nut bolt on the front of the guard, you just tighten it up. until it stops, that's it. Now you have access to your one lower hole, your two center holes, and your upper hole. So very simply at this point, you're just gonna put either your self tappers in, and this is how we tell everybody to set it off with self tappers just to get it into place. If you wanna come back and drill the frame and put the nut certs in that we supply you and everything, or you wanna just tap the frame now that you have a hole, you can tap the frame, put it in. Polaris on a lot of their models, they tap the frame, so it's nothing that they don't, uh, do right out of the factory, but some people get a little nervous. They want to put, you know, whatever. So, very simply, so there's your first bolt. At this point, really, you can remove your clamp. Now, I'm just going to show you, we don't have any nuts on that. We don't have this guard uh, front bracket even tightened up, and we have one screw holding this firewall guard on. Watch this. That's how strong these guards are with one screw. So you're telling me you're riding through the woods, something comes up and hits it. That's how well protected these guards are. We designed these out to, to, to be as strong as we could get them. So you come back in, you put the rest of your screws in, and then you have those there. Make sure all of these are snugged up. And then, like I said, tap this around. Get this exactly, you know, as straight as you can as where you want. You can snug up these bolts and you can put your 13 millimeter screws back on, your nuts back on and bolt it all up that way. Very simple. So at this point, your guard is installed, but we do also have the option of having a master cylinder guard. The razor guard, you know, says RZR on it and it covers your master cylinder. If you have bought this with the addition of the guards, now is the time to install it before you put your 13 millimeter nuts on. and. It simply slides into place like that and you simply put your nuts on and then you have your full guard set up. Okay guys, now we have our aluminum firewall guard installed on this Pro XP on the driver's side and we have our uh, master cylinder guard whether you choose to put that on or not. The next part of this install is reinstalling your fender flare. So there's a couple different ways of doing this. This is the way we do it. This is the way it was designed for. There's a little piece of guard here that sticks out and so on. We trim this straight up and down as you can clearly see. Straight up and down. And we trim off all the little excess that's hanging out. This will go into the, uh, the guard here where we have our nut certs. The upper and the lower nut certs will use uh, the factory existing holes. And you will have to drill one hole in the center of this guard to hit the center nut cert, keeping that flat. So all you do, obviously, is you uh, reopen your door back up. And like I said, for this area here, you put it around your door, striker, and roll it in. Clip your plastic into place. We're doing this, obviously, quick for the video here. Put your T30 bolts back in. So you can uh, get an idea of where you're going to be. Down here in your door jam, you're going to take the plastic, roll it around to the inner section, 
and underneath the little area where your speaker grill goes on, you're just reinstalling this exactly the way you took it off. We're just showing you really quick. There's one. Push this one in. Now she's installed. And you can see now on this guard, because we're going to be sending these out black. This way they blend in. We obviously did this aluminum so you can see. You can see that we have a straight cut going down. Now with these shorter 10 millimeter nuts that we supplied in the kit, change your bit on your impact. Start your low one first. Now at this point, all you do is you push the guard against the firewall, push it in. You'll see now that you can see the nut cert. Slide the, the 10 millimeter bolt in that we supply you with. Slightly push the guard in and slightly snug it up. That's it. Now just sitting here alone, you can see that the top bolt rolls into place. That simple. Push the guard in with your arm, snug it up. Now at this point, you're going to have to drill a hole right here. You can look from the backside and mark it if you choose to. You can do whatever you want that way, but it's in about three quarters of an inch. And it's down about three quarters of an inch from this line. So in three quarters, down three quarters, just put a small drill bit, put a pilot hole through it um, just to get it started. And you put your bolt in there. Very simple. Now she's on nice and tight, finished up. And we're ready to move on to the install on the other side. Okay guys, now onto the passenger side. You're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side as you did on the driver's side. You're gonna start with removing your flare with your T30 bolts and a couple of push pins. Use a push pin tool, however you're gonna do it, and remove your fender flare in one piece like we did here. Then you're gonna take your two pieces of your passenger side guard. So this is the main piece and this is the little bolt-on wing. You're gonna bolt it on with the three bolts. Obviously, we only have two bolts here. And you're gonna bolt it together with the three bolts and then that is your guard. That is what it will look like. How to install this guard? You actually just kind of set it in place and it almost stays where it wants to stay. Now you see your guide kind of somewhat sits in place. The very top of this guard has the bracket here which is gonna have a built-in basically an alignment tool. Here on your frame, your main structure going up and down is your Polaris sticker with some specs and your VIN number. Right here at the, bar, at the very tip of this guard, bracket is going to sit against the frame flush and right up against the very bottom of your sticker. This way it aligns the height, this way you don't have any questions of where you want to put it. You basically want the three holes lined up in the center of your tube going up and down and you want the very top of this bracket pretty much exactly at the bottom of the sticker that is on your frame. Then you reach around you get it pretty much lined up to the center and you use a quick clamp like we've used in all these videos of all of our installs and you quick clamp it to the frame. We already have holes in the frame so we removed our quick clamp. All you're going to do is set a center screw in the... That's it. Just a one screw in the center to hold it for now. Then we're going to move to the outside of the guard here. Okay guys, now that you have your one bolt in your center over here in that bracket along your frame, you're going to come here to the side of the frame. Uh, you can obviously see there's a cutout right here in this guard. The cutout goes around this flat gusset that is on your frame. Self-explanatory, it sits exactly where it sits. I mean, we have one bolt holding that in. I can move this over with my hand and now it's pretty much in place. You can use the quick clamp like we did on the other side. And whatever you want to do, you can come around from the back of the frame, you can hold it in here and have it held in. We already obviously, like I said before, we have our holes drilled, so we will put all three of these bolts into the frame. One, two, three. Then once you have that finished, you'll go back to the other side of the bracket where you have your one bolt and you'll put the two remaining bolts back in and have three on there. And the guide will be installed at this time. Again, like we've said multiple times before, when you're putting your self tappers in, don't just put them in and just pull the trigger and expect them to burn a hole through. You're gonna overheat the self tapper and you're gonna harden the frame. Just put it in, put pressure on it, just like you wanna have pressure on it and just pull the trigger a little at a time. 
pull it off, pull it off, pull it off, and it'll sink the self-tapper into the hole. If you sit there and try to force that thing in there with a bunch of heat and a bunch of speed, all it's gonna do is it's gonna heat the tip up, it's gonna make the actual steel hardened on the frame, and then you're gonna have a hell of a time. It's gonna take you 20 screws to get into that one hole. So just take your time, you're not in a race, and put the self-tappers in one at a time. Now if you wanna come back, now you'll have all your starting holes and drill them out. Now we supply you with the uh, nut certs and the bolts and everything, now you can install it that way, however you wanna do it. If you wanna drill and tap the frame, uh, for the M6 bolts that we supply you and bolt it directly in. Polaris does that on a lot of machines. You can bolt them right on like that, however you want to do it. You want to put a dab of silicone in each hole, keep the water out, it's really not an issue at all. So now we're going to move on to the fender flare. Okay guys, now it's as easy as putting your fender flare on. This is pretty self-explanatory, obviously. Like we said, there's a little cutout, same as the driver's side, that goes around your door striker. Take it, make sure that goes on first. 45 it just like we did right now. Slide it up into place. Throw a couple of your T30s in to hold this fender flare in place. Pull the back of the fender around to the inside so she sits in place like that. Throw your two screws, your two 330s in the bottom. Push the bottom of your guard into against the other one so you can get your screw in. All that's remaining is this area here. Very simple. We supply you with a M6 bolt, 10 millimeter head. You're going to push the guard down and over to the area. Simply put the bolt in place and snug it up. Very simple. You're going to, on the upper one, this is slightly different than the other side, you are going to use the factory T30 bolt to go in the upper hole, which is pushed out a little bit. You're going to have to push it in with your hands, shove it in a little bit, and get it to fit. There it is. Very simple. And the very last thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to drill a hole in the guard right here to get the last 10 millimeter bolt into the guard. So, you can either look behind and try to transfer it out to see how to put, where to put this hole, but we're gonna give you quick little measurements. So, it is about three and three eighths from the end of this piece of plastic straight into the hole to the center. So it's about three and three eighths over, and it is about exactly one inch up from this notch. So one inch up, put a dot, three and three eighths over, put a dot, drill your hole there, when you drill your hole there, you'll have, uh, you know, push it down to the guard, look through, you should be able to see the nut cert in there, and then you simply install the 10 millimeter headed M6 bolt that we supplied with the kit. Now the drive passenger side is complete. Well, it's complete when you put the right size socket on there. And that is it. That is how easy it is. This side is finished. Make sure you have all your bolts in, your T30s, make sure you put your push pins in, you put your speaker grills back on, and when you're done, close your door. See how nice that looks? He's going to be available soon. We're going to be throwing this uh, video up as soon as we can, and then we're going to do a walk around, show you the end of this video as soon as we have these powder coated in the machine outside. So McNastyCustoms.com, McNastyCustoms on Facebook, McNastyCustoms on Instagram. Guys, check us out. Wow.